Hey parents, it is a cold and rainy day here in New Jersey and I just got off the phone with a client who was needing some support on how to have difficult conversations with her kids. Um, and it got me thinking about the kinds of questions that kids ask. Uh, they've always asked questions and they've always asked them at times where they seem to be really good at catching us off guard. Uh, but given everything that's going on in the world right now and access to media in a way that we've never had before, some of the questions that kids are coming to us with are bigger. Um, you know, you're lucky if you're getting off with something as simple as where do babies come from or is Santa Claus real? It's more likely that you're getting things like uh, who is George Floyd? or you know, why do um, black people keep getting hurt? Or um, am I going to get sick from coronavirus? Or is grandma going to die from coronavirus? Um, because kids at different ages take things in and they don't have an adult frontal lobe to process with. So these things bounce around in their brains and can cause them quite a lot of fear and anxiety. Uh, the good news is that there are some strategies that you can implement regardless of the age of your child and regardless of the question that they spring on you. So the first thing to do when they come to you with a question like that is to take a breath and start with something as simple as, what do you think? Or what do you already know? Or tell me what you've heard about that. Because that will give you a baseline of what it is they're coming to you with. Are they looking for information? Are they looking for you to soothe their fears? Or, you know, particularly with older kids and teenagers, are they looking to have a conversation because they're starting to form their own ideas, opinions, and identity uh, separately from, from, you know, from their parents and their, their family members? Um, so no matter what the question is, if you start from there, it's going to give you a way to start gradually diving in more deeply. None of these conversations are one-offs. They happen over and over again because kids layer on their understanding in kind of a scaffolding way. So you might have this conversation and then they go off and think about it. And then they come back to you a couple days later while you're washing the dishes or driving in the car and ask some more questions. What you've shown them is that you are a safe place to come that you're going to nurture their curiosity and that you embrace their ideas and you wanna have these talks with them. Another great strategy that I love to use is saying something like, that's a really big question or that's a really important question and I don't know all the answers. Can we research that together? Can we explore that together? They love being involved in the conversation and it's really important for them to know that the adults don't have all the answers either. Um, there are some really awesome podcasts that you can go to, to to learn more about how to have these difficult conversations. I'm gonna post a link to one called the Rad Child Podcast uh, in the comments. Um, or you could always reach out to your friendly neighborhood parent coach uh, for some ideas and strategies that are specific to your family. I hope this helps, thanks.